just I'm just thankful for the opportunity, you know, you know, to, to be in that record. But like I said, I'm not I'm not finished yet. I got a lot of football left in me, so I'm just trying to take that record and just go crazy with it. Where can you put, where can you put the ball? Got to get to my kids. Yeah. First, first and foremost, my kids, of course. He said, "Look like around like the four, the last defender, maybe." <laughs> I, I was telling some guys on the sideline. I was like, "Who is this guy?" Because I, I saw he was like ten yards back when he caught up on me. I was like, "This, this look, this look freaker is fast, man." But I'm glad he didn't get me, man. You know, he, he did a good job trying to get me, but hey, the rest is history, man. It's not even much to even say, man. What was it like when you actually crossed the goal line, though, mentally? Because we've been crazy. talking about this for like a year and a half now. <laughs> Honestly, man, I was trying to cry, man, but. All the guys was running up on me, doing all this and doing all that. I couldn't even, couldn't even enjoy myself, man. So it, it felt good, man. I was trying to share the tear. They wouldn't let me, but it, it, it's good. You get the points on the touchdown, but do you feel like you also gave the team an emotional lift with that play? Honestly, man, the fumble, you know, the, the series before that, that, that was in my head the whole time. You know, and as a football player, you just got to move on to the next play. And I was I was happy when he kicked me the ball because I, I just had to make a spark for my team. That's what I went out there and do. Has it hit you yet that you finally have the record? Not yet, man. I bet when I get out there with my family, they're going to be all excited for me, probably crying and stuff. So it, it hit me then. Well, we were standing outside, kept us out for a few minutes. It sounded pretty fun in here. What was uh, going on in the locker room after this one? Man, big team win, just a team win, something that we needed, harped on all week. You know, just coming in, playing a whole team game and getting the job done. That's what we did. You said it. A couple other guys I talked to said it. We needed this one. Yeah. Why? It was the next game. You know, we was on a, you know lost two games back to back, and then this one just we needed it, so we just like I said came and played together and just got the job done. It's a tough go out there against a really good quarterback in Justin Fields. How were you guys able to really limit him in the second half? He had 70 plus rushing yards in the first half, 12 in the second half. I know it takes all 11. How'd you guys do it? Uh, just you know like coming in, just being disciplined, sticking to the game plan, and uh, just being detailed. You know, everybody doing their job, and you know just got the job done. How nice was it from your point of view seeing all the pass rush and the pressure up front? Four sacks, that's the most you guys have had in the game this year. Yeah, it was a lot, you know. You know, he was a mobile quarterback coming in, so we knew he was going to try to get out. And um, we harped on it this week of keeping him contained and making sure we uh, plaster receivers, make sure we, you know, don't let them break loose when he start to scramble. So it worked hand in hand. You know, they, they did what they had to do, and, you know, we did what we had to do on the back end. It's happened a number of times this year where you guys have been able to end the game with a big play on defense. Jalen gets the interception today. What did you see on that one, and how nice is it for you guys to slam the door? That's what it's all about. You know, we always find a way to, you know, create a big turnover at the end of the game to seal it. So, you know, we need that all the time, whether it be early in the game, late in the game, it's, it's definitely big for us. And I got to ask you, how you feeling? How's the hamstring? I'm good. You know, played four quarters, I felt like myself, I was good. You, we know we heard from you earlier in the week saying you planned on playing. Arthur said we were going to take it up to the, the moment. Did, when did you find out you were playing, and was there any question? Uh, I knew I was playing when we when we came in. Okay. <laughs> I've been with playing. <laughs> the last thing for me, AJ, is just how, how do you guys take this and carry it forward down the stretch, the momentum from this one? Uh, just get back in the lab, you know, continue to prep the right way, get all the details down, and just one game at a time. Appreciate it, AJ. What were you thinking when you uh, saw Cordell break free at about the 30 and then pull, start pulling away at the 50 there? Come on. I don't know what I was thinking. I, I knew the record was on the line. So uh -huh. uh, I knew that meant a lot to him, meant a lot to the team. So we, we, did that kind of spark yeah. you guys on both did, sides of the ball? It did, it did. It did. You you know, special find, teams. Special uh -huh. teams definitely get the job done. Are you going to find Grady for dropping that pass, the interception? I know. I, 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 uh, I went right up to him. I told him it was in the, it was in the air for a minute. <laughs> It'd be straight though. Yeah. It was up there. I don't know who could have caught that one. That was like a real punt. Yeah. All right, take us through that uh, that final play and just how good it was for you guys to be able to slam the door again. Oh uh, man, uh, it just felt good. Just getting you know getting back on the winning track. You know, um, thank God for it first and foremost. But uh, you know, it was just a good thing to go out there and execute and not bend or break. But you know, close out. So that was that's a good thing, man. Good for the program to just get back on the right track. So many games have come down to the final play, the final drive, and a bunch of times you guys have been able to make that play at the end of the game. What was the message in the huddle? Who's talking about being able to, you know, have the defense shut the door? Oh, everybody talking, man. Everybody being leaders, you know, everybody. And everybody's just like, man, you know what? We got this, man. Uh, we had to talk earlier within ourselves, and we just told ourselves, like, hey, man, we're going to put off, all, all, put everything into this, man. You know, let's, you know, for us, let's do it for us. Let's do it for each other. Uh, let's do it for the person next to me out there on the field. And, 
you know, out there executed and, you know, good things, good things, oh my bad, good things just happen out of, you know, if you rely on your preparation and stuff and your technique, so. How good was it from your point of view to see so much pressure on fields? You guys got four sacks and could have had a couple more. Oh, really good, man. That dude is nice. Good player, man. Like, you got to cover for like 50 seconds with him. <laughs> the way he be scrambling and everything and create plays out of nothing. Uh, good player, man. Salute to him. Uh, I rushed did a good job, man. So salute to them as well. It, it takes all 11, sorry, Mike, to, to slow down that, that running game. He has 73 yards in the first half, 12 in the second half rushing yards. How are you guys able to do that? Uh, just, you know, of course, like any other game, you know, when things happen, you make a little adjustments. Um, go back to the drum board, see what's happened. We'll see what happened, and then you just go out there and execute. Kind of going into what you were saying about having cover for like 40, 50 seconds, the fact that they didn't blitz at all tonight, and that was part of the strategy. It was more to contain. Do you guys, as a secondary, how do you approach that when you know, hey, they're not going to try to send five or six? Like, does that change in some ways how you have to think? Um, I mean, the main thing is just, you know, do your job. Stay yeah. back when you got to stay back. Uh, plaster when you got to plaster. The dude is nice, you know. Like you said, we had a good rush on him. We had a good day, you know what I'm yeah. saying? My Grady Autumn Dogs went up there and just hunt, you know. But, you know, he's a good player, so, you know, he, he going to get his too. So, he did his thing. And, um, you know, you just got to just be disciplined in coverage, you know. What's it like? I mean, obviously, none of us will ever understand. What's it like when the guy's <laughs> five, six? Seven, and you're having to defend for five, six, seven seconds. I, I, uh, what, explain that. What, what's you know, that actually like? Um, you know, it's tough. I mean, it's tough. You know what I'm saying? But that comes with the game. You know, you play a different type of quarterback every week. You know, there's quarterbacks that are good on their feet. There's quarterback that got, you know, he, you know, just good at the NFL. You know, so like, you, a good opponent. You know, you just different style of play. That's the style of play. You got to execute and you know play defense when did to you defend start that. To realize the, the defensive game plan today was going to really be effective. Like when does that start to sink in? Like, do you guys, okay, this is working. Uh, that starts with preparation, uh, practice, you know, then one, you get a game plan, execute that game plan, go work on it. You know, things weren't perfect, you make little adjustments, see some things that didn't work, whole stuff like that, and you just prepare throughout the week, and then you go out and put your best before. We got a good coach, you know, we trust in him, and uh, yeah. What, what was your what was your vantage point on uh, CP's got for turn touchdown? Yeah, he's hard. Uh, <laughs> he's super dope. CP a baller man. Uh, salute to him and everything he's just doing for the team and just in general. That's that's a super blessing for just Big T. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Like two dog. Uh, it was uh, that's just a huge like blessing for anybody, man, to have an NFL record. Like that is dope. You know, and to play alongside somebody who doing it like man. And how he balls and how he plays. It's crazy, man. So salute to CP for real.